Man, the memes are so good. Okay. I agree with her. That makes sense. <laughs> Homeboy is losing his shit, dude. He's like, damn, just got crit. Damn it, get out of here, phone. I grind my teeth. I mean, you are getting whooped. Getting molly whopped. Oh, I seen genius girl looking at me, <laughs> looking at me with her composed expression. I avert my eyes. Looks like I have no choice but to concede. Genius girl truly is a genius. You damn right. I ended up listening to all of genius girl's lecture at ATF. I mean, dude, even what I was sitting through, that took forever. <laughs> After the two time travel theories she introduced at the beginning, she explained the rest with equal eloquence. She seemed a little nervous at first, but that quickly changed as she spoke. By the end, it was an impressive lecture. So impressive that you wouldn't think it was an 18-year-old's first time. Okay. That sentence was really weird. But okay. She did well to respond to my malicious questions with sarcasm. She's got guts. Wait, why am I praising her? Leaving that aside, I saw a genius girl dead. And yet, she is alive. My memories don't mesh with reality. And not just about uh, Genius Girl. My conversation with Daru and Mayuri didn't make sense either. Everything would be solved if I just told myself what I saw was a dream, an illusion. It never happened. But never say never. This leaves me with no choice. What are you doing? After parting ways... Oh god, that sound. I head to the shrine. Okay, I need to get exercised. Right, seriously? Okay, cool. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. This, this this noise needs to get the fuck out of here. Da, da, da. That's what I'm talking about. No, that noise. One is Mayuri. This one is Miko. Okay, let's go. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay. You want a banger? Oh, that's a dude. He bows his head. The voice of a girl. The fuck that sound. Mannerisms of a girl. More feminine than any girl I know. But he's a guy. Taller than my Yuri. Yet oh so slender. But he's a guy. <laughs> oh shit. Looks stunning in Miko robes. But he's a guy. Holding a bamboo broom. Apparently in the middle of cleaning. But he's a guy. It's almost evening. It's still hot as hell outside. But he's a guy. <laughs> Damn cicadas won't shut up. <laughs> but he's a guy. <laughs> Lukaku, that blade I gave you, what happened to it? He's a friend of mine. I'll call him Lukaku. We met when I rescued him from some aggressive photographers at Akiba's pedestrian heaven. It also happens that the Kako and Mayuri are classmates. I learned that fact after I had gotten to know him. Best girl, Craigasm and Kappa Pride. That's what I'm talking about. The Kako is taken aback by my sharp question. He starts fidgeting with a flushed face and tears in his eyes. Um, do you mean Demon Sword Samadari? Correct. I, brought, I bought it for you so you could learn to control your power. God, this little chirping sound. Damn, Rotaro, alright. They. I ignore my Yuri's question. 
妖刀サミダリはちゃんと使っているのかは,はい一日一回はすぐりを That's cool. あれを持ち精神残まりを極めさえすればお前は己の血を邪悪な方面に焼かれずにする I'm starting to think this dude's just doing some kind of roleplay bullshit It unleashes its true power. Okay. It was on sale for only 980 yen. Tax included. Ocarin. Okay. Kiyomo sama. El Sai Kangaroo? Oh, Kangaroo. Okay, like a kangaroo. El Sai Kangaroo. Okay. Nakako smiles happily as I nod. Such a lovely smile. Dude, he wants to bang him. That's what I'm talking about. Cap are pride as fuck. But he's a guy. <laughs> oh shit. Ugh. Oh shit. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. It explained what he's doing earlier. I'm guessing you didn't read the tips. No, I haven't. Not yet. Hello, by the way. Hi, how's it going, Mini Nut? There you go. Took me a second to decipher your name a little bit.、Uh, I'm not good with green text, but yeah. Very cool. Yeah, let me, let me read the tips really quick. God, that sound. I hate that sound. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, okay. Miko, Shrine Maidens. Always、oh, a Shrine Maiden. Typically dressed in a white kimono with a red hakama or skirt. Role is to assist priests with performing rituals and events. Pedestrian heaven, that's where we met, homeboy. So, okay. Blade works. Several store. Oh, okay, that's where we bought that little、uh, shitty sword. Term for female otaku with a particular interest in yaoi. Oh. Oh. Or works of fiction that depict homosexual relationships between men. Does not apply to female otaku in general. Okay. People tend to have issues reading my name. Ah, for me, it's just the green text. Yeah. But Mini Nut? Eh, you're fine. You're fine, dude. Or chick, whatever. Don't matter. You're fine. Let's do a quick save, real quick. And it's been a while since we've done, like, a legit hard save. So let's do that. There we go, but we're still in chapter one. My god. This is gonna take forever to get through.、Uh, I'm okay with that. I mean, we're not doing it all tonight, of course, but. Damn. <sighs> that sound again. Such a beautiful master disciple relationship. Mayushi's not a Fujoshi, but she's getting a little excited. Oh god. <laughs> Holy shit. Jeez, so we do have a master, master disciple. God damn it, I can't read. Master disciple relationship. Good lord. I, Hyona Kyoma, have gone to great lengths to brainwash, or I mean teach, <laughs> Lukako about the evil conspiracies that rule the world and how to resist them. That stuff about the demon sword, Samadare, is part of that training. Gotcha. Looks aside, Lukaku is very obedient and hardworking. He's always eager to learn new things. A master couldn't ask for a better disciple. Though he does have the weakness of not catching on too quickly and being too shy. Gotcha. That's what I'm saying. Since it wasn't listed, I'll let you know since、uh, I know you got the tip. Okabe is textbook Chinyu. Okabe. Who is Okabe? Is it the. The、uh, boy? I assume it's the boy. The dude here. 
That's like, cause yeah, I get confused with uh, names a little bit. What was I gonna do? Oh right. Oh fuck. I can't. Oh, I can't open my uh, phone on this menu. I was hoping to go to this menu and it would mute that annoying sound. And then I could bring up my uh, phone. But no, I gotta bring up my phone here. Some bitch. Yuri Ferris. Okay, so oh Lukaku. Okay, so that's that dude. Okabe is Protag. Oh. Okay. So Okabe. And it's also Rintaro? I don't know. I'm confused. Or is his name Okabe Rintaro? Or Rintaro I don't know. I get confused with some of the names, honestly. Okabe Rintaro constantly calls himself Hyonin Kyoma. Gotcha, gotcha. See, I just been referring to him as Rintaro since that's what it says down below. And I completely forgot about the Okabe part, I'll be honest. Oh, okay. Komimas. Is that like Comic Con? Comic Giga Market. Okay, a massive otaku. Otaku event held twice a year at Tokyo Big Site. Okay. Sounds artist. That's cool. All about that. Oh, you want to cosplay with you. That's cool. Okabe is his first name. Rintaro is his last name. Hyonin Kyoma is the persona he made. Gotcha. That's what I was thinking. Was it too embarrassing? <laughs> but I'm sure you'll look great in it. Wait, someone this cute can't be a girl, really? It's an unwritten rule to use this phrase whenever you see someone who looks like a cute girl but is either of unspecified gender or actually a boy. This expression is also used sarcastically with boyish looking girls. Yikes. Oh, it even, is that like the Japanese, how to say it? Damn, that's a lot of stuff just for a few words, damn. Anyways. Rintaro, given name, Okabe family name. Did I have it backward? My bad, I don't fucking know. I just call him Rintaro because that's what shows at the bottom. I don't know, it's no big deal to me. Anyways. It's really popular. Oh. My Yuri's hobby is making costumes. She made at least 30 so far, but it's rare for her to wear one herself. Gotcha. Instead, she seems to get her kicks from seeing other people wear them. Ah. It looks like she's chosen Lukaku as her next target. Ugh. Naturally, the costume Mayuri is currently raving about is for a female character. Of course. Normally, I would understand why a man wouldn't want to dress like a girl, but come on. Lukaku has no problem wearing Miko robes. Why should cosplay be any different? Gotcha. But whatever. I have business to take care of. Yeah. <laughs> and it's trivial to me. <laughs> That's a dick thing to say. I need to perform an exorcism. Holy shit. That's real. Confusing sometimes is whether the localization team uh, flips them or not. In Japan, it's family name, given name. Yeah, but sometimes localization teams flip the names to westernize it. Oh, that's kind of neat. Not in Steins Gate, though. Gotcha. Interesting. Some good info you're throwing out there, guys. I appreciate it. Good discussion. Hmm. That's why I came here instead of Kondo Shrine. Bring out the usual. Samadari? 
違うお祓いに要望は必要ないだろう<笑>いたらあれに決まっている。I mean, the man's got a point. Who uses a demon sword for an exorcism? What? 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 The stick with the zigzaggy paper thingies that the priest does the shaky thingy with. God damn, Rentaro! You know it's bad when even Mayuri thinks that's dumb. Shit. Exactly. Good lord. The what? A what? A wand that is carried by a Shinto priest adorned with shide paper. Shit paper. <laughs> It is used in blessing rituals to ward off evil spirits. Alright, let's see what this thing looks like. Um, it is a Unusa. C O O N U S A. Let's see what they're talking about here. Display capture. So, this? This? Huh. Looks like a mop. Huh. Okay. That's、uh, different. So it's an Onusa. Okay, it just has a bunch of uh, uh, shide, shit paper on it. Okay. What the hell is this? s o m e t h i n like a little. Oh, it looks like a little Sailor Moon thing. Good lord. Interesting. So that's what that is. That's what that looks like. Alright. I was curious. The answer is that. Okay. Yeah, go for it. The Kako makes a quick bow and runs off towards his house, which is on the shrine grounds. Okay. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Mayuri takes her pocket watch out of her bag to check the time. It's a very old watch, not the sort you'd expect a high school girl to carry. Its name is Pockety. Of course it is. Obviously, that's the name Mayuri gave it. It's not his brand name or anything. Ever since elementary school, Mayuri has carried Pockety with her everywhere. It's her most important treasure. Oh, she goes to work, okay. Cool. She lives in Aika Bukuro, okay. She comes to Akiba by train just about every day. It should be obvious since we're childhood friends and all, but I live in Ikebukuro too. So I've been staying at the lab since summer break began. Yep, see ya! I call Mayuri to stop before she trots off. Mayuri. The eyes in this game are hypnotizing. I agree, they're very. They're done very well. Like, look at the design of her eyes, for instance. She has this kind of spiral going into her eyes. It's really interesting. Like, each of them are spiraled. I think that's really interesting. And, it, like, they start with this kind of yellow color, and then it goes into green, and then a solid blue. Same thing over here. Really interesting. Anyways. Fucking sound. Scream. Mayuri blinks several times and puts her finger to her temple as if in thought. Then she gives her usual smile. So she doesn't remember it either. That's what I'm saying. I love that. Mayuri leaves, this time for good, though she pauses to wave at least a half dozen times before disappearing beyond the archway. Okay. Yo. 
But he's a guy. The cuckoo returns shortly after Mayuri leaves. In his hands is the white zigzaggy thing I asked for. Awesome. Yep, she peaced out, dude. Do -do -do. <laughs> Begin the exorcism at once. Yeah. Well, what is she exercising her? He. Makako is flustered. Is he really up to this? I'm beginning to doubt. I should have known better. The instant doubt touches my heart, a terrible chill shoots up my spine. Okay. I grab my violently shaking wrist. Okay. With a serious look on his face, the Kako grasped the Onusa with both hands as if it were a sword. His stance is impressive. I've taught him well. Okay. His face is red and he can barely talk. It looks like he wants to say something but is hesitating. Panicking because he feels awkward? Tch, amateur. Damn. Yikes. It's legit. The Kako starts crying. Oh, looks like he's really worried. Reason tells me he's a guy, but his lovely appearance makes me feel guilty. Like I made a frail girl cry. But despite the tears welling up in his eyes, it looks like the Kako's managed to work up his resolve. Nice. Dude's doing it. He raises the Onusa up high, shaking it left and right. The tip of the Onusa touches my upper arm. In an anime, this would be the cue for some dramatic shockwave to occur, but nothing like that happens. The only sound is the chirping of cicadas. Yes, which is super annoying. I take a deep breath. The trembling in my arm has stopped. Okay. The Kako sighs in relief and blushes. Interesting. His shy smile really does make him look like a girl. God damn it, I thought they were going to do the but he's a guy one more time. After I get back to the lab, I take the broken TV down to the brawn tube workshop for repairs. Daru and Mayuri have already gone home, so I had to carry the TV down the narrow staircase by myself. It's brutal, back-breaking work, but I manage. Okay. I push the workshop door open with my hips and head inside. The room is dimly lit by the setting sun, and the gloom is offset by the glare from the gigantic CRT in the middle of the room. 42 inch CRT. It doesn't seem like something you get in modern Japan. With LCD TVs becoming the new standard, I seriously doubt anyone would want a bulky old CRT. I agree. Oh. Damn! Oh, homeboy. homeboy is jacked as fuck. Jesus, is this the rock? Good lord, this dude's like just boom. That's insane. 
Sitting in front of the huge, <clears throat> sitting in front of the huge CRT, is an equally huge man reading a sports newspaper. Okay, he's a workshop's manager, actually owner of this whole building. Uh, Tanoji Yuga. Tanoji Yugo. I call him Mr. Braun. It's a fitting name for someone who loves brawn tubes. Yikes. Turning it rough. Oh boy, he knows. I barely managed to set the heavy TV on the counter. Did I treat him with love? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I got mail. Muscle-bound bald guy talking about love. Okay, okay, let me... Give me a second. Mayuri, what's up? Don't sell it. <laughs> Upa is super popular, you know. Even more popular than the hero Kakeru-kun. They're so cute, I want to collect them all. It's like how you used to collect black, <clears throat> black fingerless gloves, remember? Uh, what about the fingerless gloves? Wait, what's the attachment? What the fuck? Is this what she thinks is cute? Because it's not. <laughs> Indeed, you must never speak of that to anyone else. It was necessary to seal the abomination lying dormant in this right arm of mine. Oh my god. I'm sending it. Good lord. This guy is role-playing like a motherfucker. Let's see. You can change the ringtone if you feel it. Oh, oh, oh. Set ringtone. Oh, shit. Alright. Yo. Alright, precaution. Mm, over the sky. Yo. Reunion. Not bad. Gate of Steiner? Hmm. I like Over the Sky. Oh, achievement unlocked. Yo. Set mail ringtone. Um. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna set. Well, no. Let's set that one to that. Change. Yes. Hell yeah. We're going full Upa, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Upas. Hell yes. Anyways, a muscle bound bald guy talking about love. It sends shivers down my spine. I mean, he's what the uh, LGBT community calls, um, uh, what do they call it? A bear. So there you go. He's just a bear. It's all right. I need repairs post haste. What? Mr. Braun begins investigating the cause of the problem. With nothing better to do, I look around the store. I don't know if it's just the dust hanging in the air, but something feels stagnant about this place. There are CRT screens everywhere. Yeah, there are. The haphazard layout makes them seem like junk. They're all functional according to Mr. Braun. Okay, cool, cool. He's got a full range of both old and new. Some of them are probably older than me. There are even some uh, flat screen and HD CRTs that came out just before LCDs took the market. Yikes. Oh. All the major electronics stores close around 8 or 9 o'clock. And then, as if the liveliness of the day was simply a lie, the town goes silent. Oh. Oh, are you a hot date? Chipmunk. Oh, okay, okay. The manager glares at me and takes a photo from his wallet. It's a picture of a young girl shyly making a peace sign at the camera. One might assume this muscle-bound man to be some kind of pervert, but the girl is actually his daughter. She's about 12 years old now, I think. 
His love for her is, uh, is second only to his love for CRTs. Or was it the other way around? Yikes. <laughs>